Hey guys, hope you guys are well. Happy just back here with Damien Jardina. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, different exercises, working from P1, P2, lateralis, scapularis, and malleabilities. Okay, so what I'm gonna do show you some awesome exercises today is that's gonna help you um, gain muscle, lose body fat at the same time, and actually build your strength through your upper body. Okay, what I have here is a single leg. We're gonna be doing single leg RDL. What we're gonna be doing is working our hips, we're going to be working our glutes, our lateral border of our lats, as well as going to be working our semitendinosus, semibrembinosus. We're going to be working our quadriceps as well, calf muscles, as well as our toes. Simply going to be one foot, okay? What you're going to be doing here, you make sure you have to have your foot into a dorsiflexion phase, otherwise you won't pull in your hamstrings. So when you come down, you have to make sure you tense the foot up, and then you come back down. If your back is switched off, you won't pull it through your head as much. Okay, so make sure you guys have been doing that, otherwise you won't get any muscle. Over here, I've got a kettlebell swing. With a kettlebell swing, what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna walk in, working our A1 and A2 series with our biceps and obviously with our elbow, working our elbow arm. If your elbow is too far forward, you're gonna feel it through your glutes a bit more. So if your elbow is back, you're gonna feel it through your lats. As you press up, you wanna make sure you breathe out as you press up. So you breathe in, and you breathe out as you press up. If you don't breathe, you actually don't activate your core and you actually won't get an actual six pack because when you actually do these exercises, you actually help with fat loss. And if you don't do this correct, you're actually not gonna work your abs. So make sure you actually breathe out when you're doing it, otherwise you can't do it, okay? Another exercise, which is my favorite exercise, this burns a shitload of body fat, is a rope. It's a batter rope. Make sure you guys don't do both arms, because if you do both arms, you actually won't burn as much body fat. So you're gonna make sure you actually do the single arm. When you're in the position, you're gonna make sure you're in a squat position, okay? If your knees are too far forward, you're not gonna feel it through your legs at all. You're gonna feel it through more of your, um, your, your muscle, through your, your scapularis, and through your rhomboids. A lot of trainers don't know that. Um, so that's fine, that's a good video. So you're gonna make sure you come nice and low, and you wanna make sure you are in a kneeling position, okay? When you're in the position, you have that leg out, so you get a nice stretch through your leg, and then you want to come through. Okay. That's hard. So you make sure in a stretch position, you can make stretch and you get enough contraction and enough mobility as well. Okay? So, anyways, some coaches, personal trainers, everyone just overcomplicate things. Guys, be simple with your clients. <laughs> I see a lot of trainers just talking about all these muscle groups and blah, 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 anatomy. Probably tens of your clients don't care. Don't overcomplicate things, guys. Keep it very simple. Have a good one.